Mason Marcella blunts, Louboutin double cuffs, designer drugs, you get seen up. If it tastes good, niggas rolling like rollers, my roller. They top out of beans, a one with no space, who's driving this silly, the gas at the brakes. I had a bean inside of the rave, besides the tent, the curtain, the Dance, they came in their hands, my dick in a hand, I better get eight. I spent 60 bands on one of my kisses, the paperwork in my co- What is going on guys? Welcome to a NBA 2K20 video, man. We are back with another banger, guys. Later on today, I will be dropping a video on the best stretch big build that I have found. So make sure you guys are post noties on it. Make sure you guys are tuned in for that. But we're going to go ahead and make shooting guard is the position for this build that we're going to make. Now, this is another build that... I'm debating I might make this or I might make the play sharpshooter that I made the video on. Either one of these I'm going to choose and I'm going to make. I don't know which one yet. Um, I just care about shooting, man. Honestly, I want to be able to shoot. I want to be a shooting guard. Uh, and that build that I made in the video, that is a really good build. Before we get started, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. And hit that naughty bell, like I said, because we have so much NBA 2K20 bangers coming. And we have so much bangers that we've dropped. So make sure you guys check out the bangers that we've dropped and the ones that are coming as well. You guys will have to, um, you know, they will be coming. They'll be coming. So let's get right into it, man. Like I said, now this build right here, we're going to go primary shooting. So it's the fifth one down. It's the fifth pie chart down. It's one, two, three, four, five. Fifth pie chart. It has the most green shooting is what we're going for right here. Our three point will be a 95. Our mid range 94, free throw 95, post fade a 95. Our ball handling is a 75. We need an 86 to speed boost. With this build, unfortunately, we'll not be able to speed boost, but our um, our dribbling still won't be the worst. It's gonna be like an 80, 81 once we're done with it. So you know, with the boost, we'll be a little bit faster and we'll be able to do stuff. So um, this next screen right here, we want agility, we want speed, we want we want that speed and acceleration. So we're gonna pick the first one. And here is what matters, guys. This is where you, you know, these are the thin lines where, like, you know what I'm saying? This this is the important part right here, man. So pay attention to what I do to this player. Um, So the first thing we're going to do is max out the three-point uh, shooting. So this is the best shooting build, man, that we have came up with so far. Best shooting guard shooting build um, already, man. Off rip, we're going to have a, a 95 three-point, man. So we're going to max out all our shooting so we can get 30 shooting badges. So max that all the way out. We're going to max out all our playmaking because we want as much playmaking badges as we can get. I didn't mean to go to defense yet. So we're going to go all the way up. Now here, I'm going to go with close shot because that ma you know that matters still close shot. We're going to go with driving layup because we're still going to be in the paint sometimes going with driving layup and driving dunk up. Uh, standing dunk does not matter. Post hook does not matter. Our last things here are, are defense. So we want our perimeter defense and we want our lateral quickness, which is the two important ones. And then between here, interior defense, I'm not too worried about that. Steals, uh, here is, is a little bit of preference here, man. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want to go with steals, go ahead and go with steals. And then if you want to put all your remaining points on the interior defense, you know, even it out a little bit, put it more up to, oh, that's the most we could go to. And then our block, uh, let's see. Yeah, our, our block really doesn't matter. What else should I put on this last? Yeah, we're going to go with all the way up to the steals. And I guess we'll go all the way up with blocks. So that's that. You guys see it right there. Now, the next screen, what, what is it? Um, This thing I've said so far, at the moment, it does not matter. But if you're making shooting builds, I would not go with these body types right here because they look like they're more bigger and they look like they're more for like slashers and that could benefit more slashers. As to a, a little smaller, faster body type, you know you could you might be you might be able to go faster. So this, these are the stats at six five guys. I'm gonna go lower because I want better stats. And um, the lowest you go is six foot uh, zero. Now look at this. If you go six foot, your ball handling is an 83. Once you go to your wingspan, you'll probably be able to. No, you still can't speed boost. So it's not worth it to go all the way to six six uh, foot. Personally, I don't even want to go to six foot. Now I'm gonna go down to six four or six three. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to 6-3 with this build honestly because I'm looking at everything and you, I get plus three on ball handling. My ball handling goes to 78. My my ball pass accuracy 84 and the the shot is still beautifully. You know the three point shot is still beautiful with this three point shot does not move. Um, plus five. You know plus five was six two, but I don't want to go that short to go to 80. So I'll go with this 6-3, 6-3 height. Then our weight. 
uh, we would go, we want more speed, we want more acceleration, so we would go 175, yeah, that's where it changes the number, yeah, 175, and our acceleration is 85, so we're going to 174, because that's where our acceleration will change, um, yeah, so 174, we'll go to 174, now our wingspan, the lower it goes, the better ball handling and stuff like that, the higher it negatively, negatively impacts the stuff, but, um, I'm gonna go low. So the minimum, the, what's the what's the minimum? Yeah, seventy nine point five is what you start off with. I'm gonna go down, man. I'm gonna go down honestly, and then we would go to uh probably I'll, I'll put T Rex arms on it. You know, seventy five point zero or seventy five point nine. I would go into T Rex arms. Better ball handling. Our ball handling now is at eighty one. Once we get some boost and stuff like that, it's gonna be real good. You know what I'm saying? This build is gonna be real good. So I'm I'm really debating between this build. The only bad thing is I'm not gonna be able to speed boost, but this build is going to be a lethal, lethal, lethal shooting build. You know, this is like the sharpshooter shot creator from last year, basically. So I'll go with spot up shooter and put yes. So this is, this is basically like the, the shot creating sharpshooter. They call it offensive threat on here. Now, our last page right here will be the badges, which is what matters the most, man, honestly. And uh, the badges, I always tell you guys. And that's your personal preference. It's how you guys are playing. So first, when you go with finishing finishing badges, um, I put it on this finish on there. You know that help that help us out a little bit in the paint. Our defensive badges, I would put what I put here. I put pickpocket. You know that help us out maybe with a little bit of steals. And then our shooting badges, it was what matters the most here. I would go with catch and shoot gold. You know that is a clutch, clutch, clutch badge that can help you in so much different situations. Corner specialist, I'll put silver. Dead eye, I'll put that. I'll put, go ahead and put that Hall of Fame clutch shooter. We'll leave that for right now. Um, difficult shots, we want that one silver. Flexible release, but these are the penalties suffered from missed time jump shots. I'll go ahead and put that on silver. Green machine, I'll put that on Hall of Fame as well, man. That this badge is OP. So I would like seeing so much gameplay now and seeing like so much different stuff. I'm putting that green machine on Hall of Fame. Uh, hot start improves players shooting ability after making first shots until a miss occurs hot zone I'm not too interested in this hot zone because you're already hot in the area I don't know why you want to be more hot or stuff like that limitless range I'm gonna go ahead and put the Hall of Fame as well ice in my veins will leave that pick and popper We'll leave all this right now quick draw speeds up release volume shooter. I don't want volume shooter. I do want a uh, slithery off ball I do want steady shooter put that on silver. I'll even put this on uh, gold on uh, gold now we have to pick. Now we have stuff to pick here from. I got the main badges that I've got: Hall of Fame, Gold, and Silver. Now we have a little bit more to uh, pick. You know, improves the players' ability to make shots when fatigued. Uh, I would pick from Tyler Score. I do want pick. Nah, I don't do as much pick and popper. I don't do as much pick and popper as in in the park, but I do do it a lot in my career. But um, you know, was, uh, I would go is clutch is between clutch shooter and tireless score increases the ability to knock down shots and clutch moments. I, honestly, I might just put both on uh, silver. And um, hot start improves players shooting ability after making first shot. You no know, quick draw it speeds up the release of a jump shot. But if you have a fast jump shot, I'm not too sure if we need that. You know, I'm gonna wait and see until the game finally comes out on that one. And then. Uh, Alright, I, I guess I'll do this. I'll do one silver and two bronze. How about that? So we'll do Tyler score silver. And then we'll do these two bronze. So then we have a lot of shooting badges, actually. Now, this is this looks beautiful to me, honestly. I can't wait till the game comes out. Like, honestly, this is honestly the build that I think I'm going to go with. Like, I'm more leaning towards this build than towards the other uh, playmaker and sharp. I just, I just like this build, man. That, that shot, 95 awesome ankle breaker most definitely will put that on gold dream shake raises the chances that defender bites when doing fakes and post downhill increases the overall and ball transition uh quick first step provides a more explosive first yeah that one space creator that one on gold on pluck will raises the chances of getting ripped by defender handles for days this one stop and go put that on um bronze Break starter, tight handles, improves the players to bring down the defender, and then the last one, unpluggable. This 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 would be what I would go with. This is honestly a beautiful build, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is a beautiful build, and you know, 
honestly, the jump, a lot of people, a lot of you guys asking me what jump shot to use. I've been using Damian Lillard, but James Harden is also a really good shot that uh, people have been using and I've seen has been cashing out for you guys to test out test out the builds and stuff. Let me know what you guys think about, about this build down below, man. One of the best shooting builds that I have seen and potentially this is probably my build. I'm gonna, I'm not I'm not gonna, gonna lie to you guys. This this is my build because it's like the shot creating uh sharpshooter from last year, and potentially, I think this is my build, man. So let me know what you guys think about it. Appreciate the love. God bless, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Appreciate it. God bless. Catch you guys in the next one. God bless.